Hello everyone, welcome to my channel about writing stuff. My name is Camille and today is episode three, because we're doing three of these apparently, uh, of the submission diaries vlog thing I decided to do because for some reason I cannot, for the life of me, come up with concepts for actual videos and I can't post these until post book deal, which I've talked about in the first episode, but like I said in that episode, I wanted to keep a record of all of this stuff. So, uh, update. <laughs> in episode two, I told you guys about how we had an R&R &R and we were giving a deadline to the other editors on our list and then circling back to that first editor for the R&R, &R, which we ended up doing. We circled back to that editor. Um, the, all the other editors on the list came in with um, rejections. It, it wasn't for them, that type of thing. We had one editor who conspicuously sent the manuscript to Second Reads, which Second Reads is the editor reads it. If they like it, they give it to other people around the imprint to see, to get their take on it. And it really just wasn't something that they could sell. Um, it wasn't something that they felt they could market. So that was a rejection, unfortunately. Um, but anyways, we got back to this editor and inside like a week, she reread the manuscript and sent me my edit letter. And you guys, I like wished and hoped and prayed for a detailed edit letter and I got it. It was... <laughs> Oh my gosh, so like five page edit letter, just like point, 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 point. And the thing I love about this editor and the reason why I like fingers crossed that she loves my revisions, not only did she go super in depth on all of her points, but she gave reasons why these points in the manuscript weren't working for her. And on top of that, suggested fixes. Now, I know a lot of people who don't work well with suggested fixes. However, for me, I love it for a number of reasons, mainly because she is an industry professional. She literally does this for a living, has a lot of experience, but whenever I get suggested fixes for problems, it helps kickstart my idea part of my brain and helps me to devise my own solutions to problems. So guys, like non-contractual edit letter, five pages plus inline notes in the manuscript. And at the end of the edit letter, she was like, oh, let me know when you want to talk. Not if you want to talk, not if, let me know if you have questions. Like at the end of the edit letter, it's like, let me know when you want to talk. So not only was it a super in-depth non-contractual r, r with this amazing, amazing editor, but she wanted to get on the phone with me. So Christy and I jumped on the phone with her had a great conversation that was like 30% about the book and like 70% about um, like dogs and antique shops and California. And like, uh, it was a really great conversation. Uh, she's really personable and I just, I love that because she is an industry professional and you know, someone who has really no incentive to take time out of her busy schedule to basically offer me this, uh, this opportunity to really work on my manuscript and make it as perfect as possible. Um, but she did, and more than that, she is so approachable, which was very nice. Um, and then I have been missing because I went so deep into revision land, and you guys know I hate revision, but and that's the thing with the, these revisions is I really, that initial thing where I completely agreed with all of this editor's critiques, but I pushed back, I think subconsciously because I didn't want to change the heart and soul of my story, which she wasn't asking me to. However, the fixes I was conjuring for all these problems really felt like I was taking the story out of the box I had initially devised for it. So, um, I revised the whole thing, sent it back to Christy inside a week. And she got back to me and was very honest, which I love. 
I love my agent. She is just like the perfect partner for me in this. Um, Christy got back to me and was like, this isn't enough. She went through like the first 70 pages and was like, tell me, tell me what's holding you back. Tell me what, what the problem is. Um, and that triggered a light bulb moment for me. And I was like, I don't want to change the heart and soul of the story. And she's like, okay, let's work it out. How do we make these changes? How do we fix the story while keeping what you want intact? And we worked through it and talked through it. Um, and then, you know, she gave me some advice to take some time away from the manuscript. So I didn't because I'm a terrible human being. Um, so actually what I did is I, I jumped right back into the manuscript and I cut all the stuff that just needed to go. Um, I didn't care about if the manuscript was clean or whatever. I just, I, I went through and just cut out scenes. I cut out a character. I cut out just chunks and chunks of stuff. And then I put the manuscript away for like four or five days. I got some space and then I, I dove back in and I filled in those missing pieces and put the story back together in a much better way. And I got it back to Christy and then she got back to me. This That took about um, like a month or three weeks total. She got back to me, um, you know, and we were finally on the right page. So she was really happy with the changes. She was really happy with the direction we were going in. Um, so she sent me back an edit of the edit letter. So she <laughs> sent me back the edit letter we got from the editor originally with a, like and underneath all the points that the editor made christy bullet pointed like okay this one's taken care of good check that off oh you fixed this one well i like what you did here check that off this one needs more work this one hasn't been addressed at all da, 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 all the way down the list so then i went back into the manuscript i think it took me two weeks to just like really really nail down all the details and really dig into everything um <clears throat> And then I got it back to Christy and she got back to me. I sent it to her like on a Saturday because I know she doesn't work weekends, right? So I sent it to her on a Saturday. That way I could like decompress <laughs> the rest of Saturday and Sunday and just like da -da -da -da. But apparently she does work on weekends if it's like something like this where it's we're trying to get it done and perfect and whatever in a timely fashion. Um, because she got back to me Monday and was like, perfect, this is good. This is, we're right on it. There are a couple things, there's like a few lines here and there that need to be clarified or cleaned up. So let's go through, do that. Da, 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 we did that. And then you guys, I sent her the finalized manuscript and she sent it back to the editor. And then the editor sent her an email saying that she was excited and that my manuscript is at the top of her TBR pile. And it has been at the top of her TBR pile for a week. And I am spinning because now what? Oh, you guys. So now I'm in that state where it's like, I'm so much happier with the story. It is so much better than it was. But then what happens if she doesn't like it? <laughs> What happens if she hates it? What happens if it What happens if she like just doesn't like it and then comes back and is like, let's do another non contractual R and R? Like how much time am I gonna be stuck revising when I hate revising? I'm just worried. Uh, I'm a worrier and I've talked I talked about this on the first episode, but like if something's supposed to happen, it's gonna happen but in the right time. Like it's, if it's meant to happen, it's gonna happen when it's supposed to happen. And you know, I 100% feel that way about this editor just because you know, I, had, I waited three months and a week to hear back from all the editors we submitted to initially and they all rejected me. But this one editor, the, right out of the gate, this editor two weeks into submission had some just really phenomenal things to say about my story and loved it or liked it enough and had faith in me enough to really take time out to do this non-contractual R&R but moreover to send this really in-depth edit letter and to jump on the phone with with Christy and I and like I 
I feel like it's supposed to be this editor. So, and like all after all of this, if she doesn't end up loving it, I don't know. I, I, I would be so sad. <laughs> Um, but maybe it's supposed to go somewhere else. I don't know. We will see. Um, oh, I just hope it's this editor. Uh, yeah. Submission's rough, guys. Um, so that's it for this episode. I will see you guys next time. Um, but for now, <sighs> write stuff. Oh, my husband and I adopted a new puppy. If you're stressed out, if you're in the query trenches or on submission or deep in revision and it's just a toil and a toil and a toil, get a puppy. Yeah, puppy. So that's all I got for you guys today. <laughs> if writing got you down, get a dog or a cat. I don't care. Just get a pet. Adopt a pet. Pets are great. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time. For now, you should be adopting animals. <laughs>